Last week marked the 18th straight month the United States unemployment rate was at or below 5% a level considered low by most economists. However, the way in which the Obama administration came to 5% might be a little different than how the Trump administration sees it. As White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer stated, I talked to the president prior to this, and he said to quote him very clearly, they may have been phony in the past, but it's very real now. So what exactly is Spicer referring to? According to CNN Money, President Trump's budget director claims the Obama administration was manipulating jobs data. Mick Mulvaney told CNN's Jake Tapper on Sunday that he has long thought the previous administration framed data to make the unemployment rate look smaller than it actually was. What you should really look at is the number of jobs created, Mulvaney said on State of the Union. We've thought for a long time, I did, that the Obama administration was manipulating the numbers, in terms of the number of people in the workforce, to make the unemployment rate the percentage rate, look smaller than it actually was. Trump repeatedly railed on the unemployment rate during Obama's time in office as a hoax. Trump once claimed that he had heard the rate could be as high as 42 percent, even though at the time it was about 5 percent. According to the latest statistics and taking Mulvaney's advice to look at the number of jobs created the economy added 235,000 new jobs during his, Trump's first full month in office, and the unemployment rate dropped to 4.7 percent. Trump's numbers in the first month are higher than Obama's average over his eight years in office. According to NPR, if you average out Obama's 75 straight months of job growth, you get 199,000 jobs per month, still shy of Clinton's economy as well as Trump's. Moreover, that is assuming those statistics haven't been tweaked, as suggested by Mulvaney. The Federalist Papers helped contribute to this story. Its news exposed signing off.